Day 19 on the green plan. Day before weigh-in. Sometimes the day before weigh-in is a bad day for me. How did I do today? Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, thank you for stopping in. For all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for staying with me on this journey that I'm on to lose 147.8 pounds. I'm currently following the Weight Watchers Green Plan. So uh, it is Thursday, August 26th, day 19 of the Green Plan. Um, and I got to tell you, so far, I'm pretty pleased with how things are going. My scale was down this morning. We'll see what it does tomorrow. Uh, as of right now, or as of this morning, I'm down for the week. So, but you know, I can, I can gain three pounds overnight. I had a good day on plan though. Uh, a lot of times the day before weigh-in is when I seem to cave on things and it almost happened. Um, I, I'm in the middle of a whole lot of projects here. I am uh, working on a dress that I started last week that I wanted to get finished. Uh, I had to go to the farmer's market. Uh, I had to go to the fabric store tonight. I went two places. I went to Hobby Lobby. I was looking for um, an extra, about half yard of this material that I have for this dress that I'm making on. Because after I put it on, I, I need to alter it a little bit. And I wanted to do something to the back. So... Uh, they didn't. They no longer had the fabric, which I figured because it was on clearance. They didn't have the type of zipper I wanted, so I went to Joanne Fabrics. Now I do okay at fabric stores, but you come up to the cash register, and I don't understand this. Why, in a fabric store or in places like Hobby Lobby, you come to the cash register? What do you see? There's all kinds of candy and chocolate, seasonal stuff. Uh, I looked at it, and I'm thinking, boy, that candy bar looks really, really good. This was when I was at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I ended up not getting fabric at Hobby Lobby, but they have the uh, some scented wax that I like in my warmers. Um, so, sorry, Lainey. <laughs> but, uh, so I bought a couple of those because they were at 50% off. And um, I'm standing there thinking, boy, I have 11 points left. That's what I had when I left because I had I ate a late lunch and I think I had 11 points left. You know, how much could that candy bar be? And then I thought, it's the day before weigh-in. You do not want to do this. Got in my car, drove over to Join Fabrics. Uh, I didn't find the fabric I had originally been looking for, but there's another garment that I'm working on that I wanted to do the same thing to. So I did buy an extra half yard of that fabric. And they had the zipper that I was looking for. So, uh standing in the checkout line, and good thing I wasn't in the checkout line long. All this candy and stuff just hitting me in the face, and I'm getting hungry and hungry as I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, I really want that. And then the angel on the other shoulder said, no, you don't. I didn't get it. I'm thinking, I have 11 points left. I'm going to go home and, and uh, see where I'm at on my calorie count before I do anything. I had planned on a light dinner anyway. And uh, so that's what I did. I came home, <laughs> made it uh, out of both those stores and the farmer's market without getting anything. It, well, first of all, it, it was so freaking hot today that uh, I went to the farmer's market to pick up my tomatoes because tomorrow I'm starting salsa. And I, my original plan was to go pick up my tomatoes and I, I got some peppers and onions and a cantaloupe from this guy too load it in my car, and then for some exercise, just walk around the farmer's market for a little bit, which sometimes gets me into trouble. But it was so hot. There was no way I was going to be able to do that. And plus, my foot was kind of hurting. So I thought, let's get in the car and go. That's exactly what I did. I got in the car. It's, I wanted my son's groomsman was coming over anyway to get his measurements done for the uh, tux that they're ordering. So I needed to come home anyway, and he ended up coming home early, so it worked out. So I didn't do my little walk around the farmer's market, so I wasn't tempted by some of the homemade, you know, 
pastries and stuff that I sometimes see there. Uh, I didn't get any candy at Hobby Lobby or at Joanne Fabrics. I did what I needed to do today and I came home and I sat down and figured out where I was exactly. I knew where I was on points, but I wanted, I was kind of curious where I was on calories. After my lunch, I only had a thousand calories. So I thought, yeah, I need a few more calories. So that's why I decided to have dinner. So let me show you what I ate today on the green plan. For breakfast this morning, it's the day before weigh-in, so I'm eating light. I'm having a, a dish of yogurt. This is the Faye non-fat Greek yogurt. It's 172 grams, two points. Um, I have it topped with a banana that weighed out at 167 grams, zero points. And then top the whole thing with 20 grams of the Bare Naked Triple Berry Crunch Granola. And that is two points. This is what that bag looks like. I really like this Bare Naked stuff. 50% less sugar. I don't know if you can see that or not. So my yogurt is uh, four points altogether. Uh, three points in my total of 50 milliliters of uh, full fat, half and half, regular half and half. So three points for that. So I have a seven point breakfast. Okay, well I had that light breakfast this morning and now I'm feeling kind of snacky. So I decided to have some peanut butter toast. Uh, it's 20 grams of the PB2 powdered peanut butter that I made extra creamy for some reason. Uh, that's two points. My two slices of Kroger Carb Master wheat bread, one slice, is one point. I mean, two slices are two point uh, are one point. I need to change that in my app because I put one slice in. There we go. Two slices for one point. And of course, my apple weighed out at 96 grams, zero points. I have a three point snack, and this takes me to 10 points for the day. I wanted to have a snack. I'm heading over to the farmers market here shortly to pick up my tomatoes for the salsa that I'm making. Wanted to have a snack before I headed over there. So here we have a three-point snack and when I get back from the market I'll have my lunch. For lunch today I'm having some shrimp and black bean tostadas. This pointed out at nine points today um, just because I added a tortilla. These are the La Banderita Carb Counter Keto Street Taco Tortillas four of them for two points. Uh, my shrimp weighed out at 119 grams which is one point. 130 grams total of uh, the Kroger black beans that's three points. Of course I added green peppers and jalapenos for zero points. And then a total of 32 grams of the Kraft reduced fat Mexican cheese blend and that is three points. I also added in some salsa which the fat free salsa it's my home canned salsa that's zero points so I have a total of nine points for lunch this takes me to 19 points and I have 11 points left for dinner the day before weigh-in well I'm having breakfast for dinner so I made myself an omelet it's one egg and two egg whites that's two points inside I've got one slice of Velveeta for one point and just some uh, veggies so my omelet is three points. Then I've got my avocado toast here. The bread is the Kroger Carb Master, uh, two slices for one point. And then I've got 46 grams of avocado for two points. So my toast is three points. My omelet is three points, so I have a six point dinner. This takes me uh, to 25 points for today. So not bad for the day before weigh-in. I had 25 points. Uh, my calorie count was just over 1,300 calories. And uh, I'm feeling pretty good about the weigh-in tomorrow. So I'm cautiously optimistic. Let me put it that way. Cautiously optimistic. So um, we'll just have to see what happens tomorrow. I, I'll be sure to get a weigh-in video up. At some point tomorrow, I, I may include it with my What I Ate video. But for right now, uh, I'm liking the green plan. And for right now, it seems to be working for me. Uh, 
having that 30 points a day uh, as opposed to 23 points. And uh, like I said, my scale was down. So as of today, I'm down for the day. I'm down for the week. I'm down for the month. I'm down for the year. So it's going in the right direction. Like I said, I'm cautiously op optimistic because I know my body well enough to know that I can gain weight overnight. And sometimes I can gain three to five pounds overnight. And I didn't eat anything overly sodium packed today other than I had, I did have cheese today, but you know, I measured it. It's, it was well within my points. So I have five points left. Everything will reset tomorrow. And right now I've got 42 weeklies left. Um, and then, like I said, that'll, that'll, that will reset tomorrow. So all in all, not a bad day. And, uh, one thing I need to do tonight before I go to bed is make my new menu plan for the week. Uh, I haven't done that yet. I've been working on other things. So I'm making a dress out of, this is not finished. This. What I've got done so far. I mean, it's hard for you to see what this really looks like, but it's got a waistband, we've got pockets on it. So hopefully I'll get that done over the weekend because I'd like to, we don't have church again this weekend because of COVID, but I'd like to work to church next weekend. So I'll get it done while my salsa is cooking, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I have nothing else to do during the day, so I may as well, you know. So tomorrow I start tomatoes. I'm going to do salsa. And I looked at the recipe again. It's this recipe that I'm using. If I follow the recipe exactly, it says it makes 17 pints. I do have 17 lids. So I know that last year I got a lot more than 17 out of this recipe. I may have used more tomatoes. But I'm, I'm the recipe I use, I kind of use as a rough guide. Um, it's fat-free sugar-free, so zero points. That's going to fill up a whole shelf in my pantry. Uh, I go through a lot of salsa. I think a lot of Weight Watchers do. Uh, so that's my big plan for the weekend. Uh, it's still supposed to be hot and uh, just hot. There have been storms coming through every night. I, well, the last couple of nights, anyway, kept me up. Uh, I was awake uh, two nights ago when the, the storms were pretty bad two nights ago. Then we had more storms come through last night between 2 and 3 in the morning and I was just dozing off to sleep and the storm woke me up and so I couldn't get back to sleep and I got up. And then you know, a couple hours later I went back to bed and I don't know if we're supposed to get storms again tonight but it's been so hot during the day it wouldn't surprise me. So that has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> so I'm going to let you go. I'll be back tomorrow to show you what I'm eating on the green plan and to share with you what happens on the scale. And anything can, but I'm cautiously optimistic. So I'll see you tomorrow in my next video. You guys have a great night. Bye-bye.